When I was a child, pegasus and unicorns were the closest thing to reality because I grew up with horses. They were already majestic beasts without the wings or horns. So I think my attraction to anything related to them surface when I come across illustrations from Hannah Carlson. If you missed the flip through, this was selected as one of the top three illustrations in the tales of the city among the stars. But I'm actually coloring this spread because I wanted to see what a friend wanted me to color in this particular book. And when I asked her about the color palette, she said pastel colors. But when I first saw this page, I actually thought more of a midnight palette. But let's see if we can mix both worlds. And so the next coloring chronicle will also be my first time coloring clouds. Day one. I've selected a color palette and what I think I'll do is color the wings the midnight color that I wanted to do originally. So each horse will have different colors. I might use some of these colors in other spots as well, but one will be teal, one will have more of a fuchsia tone with some of this black grape intertwined. So those will be the three colors of the Elicorns. And then I think I'm going to go with some of this. I might use yellow. I'm not certain if I want to yet. I might use like a yellow or like a cream color, but I'm not sure. I give a list of the colors. I've got some Parma Violet, Ultramarine, Peacock Blue, Amethyst, Black Grape, Process Red is what I'm using for the fuchsia horse. Then I've got some Imperial Violet, Cobalt Turquoise, Aquamarine. The base of it will have light aqua and then I'll just keep adding layers. That's the plan anyway. And then here's the cloud colors. I'll use a lot of nectar mostly. I might take in some white, but I might use Posca paint instead. Then I've got like a permanent or carmine type of red and I might use this color. I'm not, I'm not confident about that yet. So that is the color palette idea at the moment. One thing I did, I added nectar around here because I want them to look like there's a sun, I guess almost like a sunset. The only issue I'm having right now is figuring out the rainbows because I really don't want this to be like a My Little Pony kind of thing. I want it to look more like a fantasy. So I think what I was going to do originally is to tie in all these same colors in the rainbow. I think there's at least five colors here, different ranges, but I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to bring in like an orangey carmine color, I think, for some depth. This has been a really, really fun color. Yeah, I really like the way it's coming along. I've been coloring on this for a little while now, and I do want to take some dark darker ranges to put this a little darker in some of these areas, but first I want to see how this looks with white on it. I might not do it against the horses, but I will do it to these pillowy. There we go. This is the first time I've done clouds, but based on my experience with snow, I feel like it could be a little similar. So I'm just trying to make it where it's not as, uh, so it looks more like ethereal than line art, if that makes sense. So I am very hopeful. <laughs> and this is actually why these dark areas are so important. That's why they need to be darker. These rainbows, I want them to stand out, but I don't want them to be completely no lines, so we're gonna have to think about that one.
just that beautiful blue. Wow, it's coming along so nice. It's like they're coming alive. The clouds are coming alive. They're popping. Whenever you second guess yourself, walk a little away from your piece and you can kind of see what you need. Beautiful. It's so pretty. And you know, I don't mind that it's not. It's keeping some of the line work. I kind of like that. Okay, let's see if we can make a little magic with the gold. I've kind of never done this before. So I'm kind of scared, but let's do it. The stars were requested to color in, so I think I would have left them white, but this was requested to color them in with, with uh, as a star. Wow, well, they're coming alive, aren't they? This is such a beautiful illustration. I can only hope that I bring it to life in a worthy way. How beautiful, look at that. Oh Okay, we are almost done. Whew, I'm like holding my breath. <laughs> I just don't want to ruin anything. I need to push a little down on these because I want them to be more drop-like. Oh shoot, that maybe I shouldn't have done that. Jeez. Oh no. Let's see if I can spread the love. Oh no. I even have a tissue. Oh no. Scoop it, like, scoop it. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh. Scoop it, scoop it. Oh no. Oh. No. Can I pretend it's just a star? Oh no, it kind of like soaked in. I'm gonna make you star to put a little bit of ink on that layer. So, I did find one area I wanted to do over here. I think I will go over these again. I just noticed their beautiful eyes aren't done. And I didn't do the horn. Just a little bit around the edges.
kind of using the white of the paper and hope that it looks okay. If I do it all the way, I think it won't look shiny. I think what I need to do now is get, I'm gonna get a, is blue a good color or brown? Let me see. I think I'm gonna do all of them brown. There's nothing like a brown eyes of a horse. I've got so much compassion. Horses have a lot of compassion. I don't know what I'm doing. Just thinking about eyeballs and Sometimes the light glistens nicely. Okay, let me see what happens if I add a little blue. This is fine liners from Arteza. Okay, we're gonna try to see if I can do a star over here. What do they call this? Reverse. Oh no, it's not working out. Coloring. Oh no. Oh no. It <laughs> no. Why? Why can't I do a star? I just don't want to smudge it. Okay. It's just not coming out. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it. It's done. You are done. Oh wow, that was a fun color. Well, I'm gonna let it dry for a bit. But look at that. Don't look at my pretend store. Well, this was a very fun color. I'm sure I could burnish more things like here and stuff. I burnished this, but I didn't here. But I'm fine with it. I don't think I need to burnish every single time. So I'll go live with it. Well, I think I'm going to call it. I think I'm going to call this done. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a gentle thumbs up. And thank you for being a part of this coloring journey. Thanks for watching.